Hi guys, it's Thursday, it's payday, and I have goodies. Right, I'm going to start with these first because they're just sitting here. So, Break Charity Shop, again, all at £1 each. Actually, one of these was £1.50, but I'm not sure which one it was. Because the, um, all the stickers have been taken off except one because they were gift aided. So, we've got Medal of Honor. Tier 1 edition, Final Fantasy 12, Pez 2008, that was still up on the shelf so I put them out of their misery and bought it, I thought I might as well round it off to £5, not realising that one was £1.50 but that doesn't matter, Uncharted 2 Among Thieves, and Need for Speed Shift. So that's more PS3 games to go over here. <laughs> Quite a nice little collection going there. Uh, three records. Three records. Albums. What have we got? The Christmas album. 18 original Christmas hits. Queen, thank God it's Christmas. Roy Wood with Wizard. I wish it could be Christmas every day. Wham! Last Christmas. Uh, I'm going to lay that there. Greatest Hits of 89. I think this is. It is. It's a two two um, records in there. Two LPs. 30 top 10 hits. What we got? Gloria Estefan. Yeah, Hits of 89. These are the sorts of records I was actually looking for. Now Dance. Extended dance versions of 20 smash hits. The 12 inch mixes. The Eurythmics, would, you, would I lie to you? Little Benny and the Masters. Who comes, here, who comes to Boogie? The Ra Band, the Clouds Across the Moon. What else have we got? The only one I'm actually recognising so far is the Eurythmics. I don't. Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, be um something better. Then I went on the market and I got these for a pound. Some markers, permanent markers, and another laser toy. <coughs> Super powered laser. Forty two different tips. There is actually 42 there. I don't think there was. Um, no idea what they are, but these project little um, pictures, so I'll get that sorted out later. Because I've got to zip out in a little while. Some audio tapes from Arthritis Research Charity Shop. These were actually donations. They had a box up there, 25p each. So, pound. So what have we got? Rock City Nights. Uh, da -da -da -da, a Michael Jackson album. Thriller, from the look of it. I think that's what that says. Yep, Michael Jackson's Thriller. Da -da 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 -da. Ten tracks. We've got Billy Ocean. Brian Ferry. Dire Straits. Mid-Year. Mid Level 42. Elton John. Huey Lewis and the news. Okay, that can stay on the floor then. I'll do what I finish reading that anyway. And Cool and the Gang. They're the only real interesting ones that were there. And I also got Out of Sue Rider, a PlayStation game. Charged me a pound for it. Now it actually says 50p, but never mind. I'm not too fussed. And out of black records. And I might go back there and get the others yet. I don't know. But uh, some assorted Lego figures. I've got the Space Men. Because I'm short on Space Men for my uh, models up there. And just a few others. Firemen. But that is not all. And that is not all because I've got to pop out and get some more bits. I've got some stuff coming that's free. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Not yet. Get rid of that. Right. 
I went into my favourite junk shop and they had shed loads of PS... Actually, I think I bought just about every PS1 game they actually had. Anyway, two PS2 games just to add to the collection. I've got Arthur and The Warriors, which actually looks like an interesting one. So there's another two PS2 ones to go up on the shelf. Now, I actually don't know how many PS1 games I've got, but I'll go through them anyway. Because I've got a bit of time to kill. Any time after three, so... Lego Racers. Hot Shot. I have checked the cases to make sure they're in here. Scooby-Doo. Rainbow Six Lone Wolf. I'm sure I've got a Rainbow Six game, but not that one. Chase the Express. That would seemed like quite an interesting one. And is that the other Lego one? That is, and that is Lego Island 2. What have we got? Toy Story 2. Uh, Army Men, Land, Sea, Air. Colin McRae Rally. I think I might actually have that one, now I think about it. I think I might have duplicated one. Whoops. Star Wars Demolition. Spec Ops Ranger Elite. We're getting there. Got two more left. Rugrats. Again, I'm actually sure I've got that one. <laughs> and FIFA 2000. And a Matchbox Lorian 2 trailers. And it all cost me seven pounds. So how many of these did I actually get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen PS1 games and two PS2 games. Excuse me. So yeah, I'm quite happy with my haul today. I just got to hope I can get these on the shelves in the bedroom. I might just double check to make sure um, I don't have doubles. Um... But that is it. And like I said, very shortly I've got to go and hook my trailer up to the bike. My little one. Once I've just been to the loo, because I haven't done that yet. I was too eager to get the batteries in the camera and start the video. <laughs> oh, so, um... I'm going to go and do that. I might take some painkillers, because I've got a splitting headache at the minute as well. Um... I don't even know what it is I'm picking up. The only thing I do know is a computer monitor and a keyboard. Well, actually, his words were a computer monitor, a keyboard, and a few other bits. But he's having a clean out. It's on the town's industrial estate, so I don't know if he's actually closing his business or what. But, um, yeah, I'm going to pedal up there and literally when I've just been to the bathroom and answer the yell of nature. Just gotta make sure I've got the business name correct. Yeah, I know where Douglas Bader Close is. Yeah. I'll find it because it's probably the only place of that type on that road. Right. So, I'm going to turn the camera off and uh, scoot off. I've got, I'm going to use my hybrid bike because I know I can attach the trailer. It's a bit awkward to um, do it with the saddlebags on there, but I can manage. It's not that far from here either. So, um, I'll talk to you all Probably in about 45 minutes, but with the magic of editing, it's going to be like two seconds. See you in a few. Right, I'm back. A little longer than 45 minutes, but you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> it's just taking me about five trips up and down the stairs. That's item number one, VHS player, recorder, whatever you want to call it, VCR. And in these bags, it's just random cables. We'll go through that later. There's actually a cordless phone in one of those as well.
Something really stinks in this kitchen. And it's coming from the bin, whatever it is. Fucking hell, man. Oh, anyway. Number one. One computer. Um, status unknown. Don't know if it works. You said it did when it was uh, stored away. I've never seen a DVD writer like this. Look at this. It's got card reader and USB all built in. Isn't that funky? Never seen one like that before. Uh, two computer monitors. Um, told they work. Oh, that's got DVI input on that one as well. Uh, so, so long as this one works, that's going to go on my second desk here in the lounge, and that one will go in the bedroom. And then we've got this big bad boy. Complete with paper. Apparently it works. <laughs> and as far as I know, all the cables are over there. Is that ink cartridge? Is that an ink cartridge? Ink toner, probably. I don't know. This is definitely a, um, you know, a commercial printer, not a domestic printer. Uh, yeah, I actually broke the hinge over there. Oops! I only went to move it and it just went ping and twanged across the stairway out there. So, that must have already been sort of on its, you know, the verge of breaking anyway. But it's got a scanner on the top here. So I don't know if this does photocopying as well because uh, it's got this sort of pretty thing here. <laughs> Not sure what those. Print, send, receive, memory, error, scan, paper select, original size, blah blah blah. Copy, send, send. Notes for use. So what's this bit for then? Tell you what. It's fucking heavy as well. It's in like a uh, a bloody fax machine as well, is it? It's got USB. Yeah, it is. It's got phone and modem sockets. Look at that. <laughs> so it is like a fax machine as well. It's like an all-in-one. Cool. Parallel printer port, Ethernet, so you can network it. I may have to Google this to see if I can actually find, you know, any manuals online or something. That's going to help. But I will power it up and see if I can get it to do something. You never know, it might be installed on this. But uh, that's going to be the next part of the video. <laughs> oh, fuck, that way something. I might be having visitors, so I'm going to turn the camera off. I'll talk to you in a bit. Right, well, I need to zip out and get some painkillers because I've got a splitting headache. But I thought first we'll uh, see if any of this actually works. So I don't know, I've not turned it on yet myself, so this is first for me as well. dead. There's no like power light on the monitor either. Yes, there is there's one there. Well that's lighting up. It's working. No signal. Oh. Well, that's because I haven't turned the bloody socket on. There we go. Should we try again? Three, two, one. Ooh. 
on the amber light flashing on the monitor. I don't know what that means. Booting. I don't know don't have anything on the monitor at the minute. Anything? No signal. But it's booting. So, the question is, I know this cable got wrapped around my trailer wheel, so it could actually be a faulty cable. Um, what I'm going to do, what might find out, I am going to unplug and I'm going to try the other monitor. Shit, and if neither of these two show any signs of life, then I'll go and get the one from the bedroom, which I know works. And, uh, we'll try that one. Here's a little one. Stick it up here. Uh, power cable, isn't power socket. Ooh, this one's got DVI on it as well. Sweet. In there. This goes in the back of the PC. I hope the PC's booted because I can see hard drive activity. The PC works so far. Is the password protected? Nope. in. Had a feeling it would be Windows XP. Holy shit, this hasn't been used for a very long time. It's got AVG free 8.5. Nero Star. Right, so this monitor definitely works. I'm wondering if I damaged that VGA cable. So, what I'm going to do, let me throw it back down. I'm going to take the VGA cable from this monitor and I'm going to plug it into the other one. Oh yeah, here we go. We'll see now. So it was the other end that got damaged, you see. Or may have got damaged. It might have damaged them. Oh, I don't actually feel too good there, so it may have actually damaged it. So, we're about to find out. I'm not too fussed if I have, because I've got several of these spare anyway. My brother's got several spare too. Fifty fifty chance of getting these on the correct way around the first time. And I guarantee you'll get it wrong every time. So that is all in, that's on. That was the VGA cable. There we go. So I have two working monitors. Yeah, like I said. That one, I'm not sure of size. Fucking flies. Ruined that ton of food. Yeah, that one is going to go, I'll have a change around layer, in here to replace this one. I like that monitor, but it's not quite wide enough for me. Um, so yeah, that one, this one will go, possibly, no, that one's going to go in the kitchen. 
got more monitors than I know what to do with now. Because <laughs> I think I'll use that one in the bedroom. Does this have built-in audio? No, it doesn't, so I've still got to use the um, external speakers. No problem. Where is it? It's a Hans G HW191D. It's got DVI on the back, so I can upgrade this to DVI if I want to. I can just get a DVI cable like that. Ah, oh, pardon me. Right. So that means I can put my um, CRT monitor back in the bedroom. I did say I was going to change it, whichever came first. I also said I knew that a monitor would come first. I didn't realise it would come this quick. <laughs> but at least I'll have one spare monitor. Two spare monitors, sorry. <laughs> um... Window ratings. Should we see what specs this has got? Control panel. Sorry, I've got you at a bit of a funny angle. Updates are ready for your computer. We've got a gigabyte of RAM and a 1.6 gigahertz processor. Yeah, the processor could have been better. It's a bloody nice picture on this monitor. What size hand drive have we got in it? No idea what that is. Right. And yes, I am doing this left handed because I am a bit ambidextrous with a mouse. We've got an 80 gigabyte hard drive with 8.93 gigabytes used. Printer. I'll log in a guest later and we'll see what's on there. We've got any printers on this? Is that printer installed on it? Holy fuck. There's actually a Canon, a Microsoft XP, oh that's document right. Yeah, an Epson and a Canon. I don't think that thing is either. <laughs> so, um, that's going to be fun. don't think there's any personal data on this. No, I'm not looking at it. That shortcut was, is referring to something on a it's got a lot of Microsoft Office, so this was definitely used as an Office PC. Oh yeah. <laughs> Canon Utility, CD Label, Print, ScanSoft, Adobe, AVG, Free, Google Chrome. That's actually a fairly recent one. Microsoft Office. Office. Word 2003 and Excel 2003. Tell you what, this is running bloody quiet as well. It says Google Chrome, but there isn't an icon on the desktop anymore. got real tech audio so I'm guessing this is all um, a lot of this is still um, factory settings on this apart from you know probably Microsoft and whatnot this is identical to a case I've got under there <laughs> yeah it's identical to this one 
it's just this one hasn't got the Asus thing on there, it's got the Asus bare, bone, bare bones on it. So basically that one would have just been the bare bones case of this. <laughs> <laughs> this, intrig this intrigues me, this does. Right, well, what I'm going to do later is we're going to look at that VCR and see if that works. So I'm going to pop to Lidl because I need some painkillers for my skull. Um, and I'll get these monitors and everything swapped around. And uh, shut it down, it doesn't need to be on now. And uh, I'll drag a TV through here and connect it to that and go through those bags of cables and voila. We'll see there's a vid there's actually a videotape in that VHS. <laughs> VCR rather. Not v I keep wanting to call it a VHS. It's a VCR. So um, that'll be interesting. I'm not going to point the camera at it though, just in case you know there's <laughs> porn or something on it, because you haven't got a fucking clue what it is, have we? Anyway, I'll talk to you in a little while. That's the cables. <laughs> Here's the phone. I'm actually going to hope it does work. Um, as far as I know, it does. So, And it's got the main base and everything with it. I've got some butter all over the front, so I'm going to have to clean that off. So, that's got to go in the lounge. All oh, those cables. There's the keyboard and mouse. It's an optical mouse. But, it's got a PS2 plug on it. See? And then we've got just some various kettle leads in here. That type. I think... Oh, I think I've got three or together. Four if I count the one that was on the monitor. Five if I count the one that's wrapped up in that lock. So I've got this four port data switch. Um, which I believe will allow a computer to use like four different devices like this. Um, without having to unplug or plug them into the back of the PC. What I'm doing now, I'm just going to put these uh, power leads in here out of the way. Sort them out in the morning. Or later. Right. I've never seen a SCART cable like this one before. It's a funky looking one. Um, and I've got an HDMI cable. Um, one of these which I have, two of these which I'm going to need one for this. Uh, over here I've got a PlayStation 2 cable, RJ45 and a USB cable. I can go in the other room. One of these um, audio cables with a 3.5mm jack on. sort of cables you'd use to connect your monitor to your PC if your monitor's got built-in speakers. Chuck all this on there. Right. I have no idea what the hell this is. Something to do with audio because it's got that on it. Tell you what, I'll um make some room up here, chuck that tea towel out of the way, and stick you on the fridge where I usually stick your shoulder. Right. It's got Samson written on it. Caution, insert securely. What, up your ass or what? No idea what that is. No, I don't feel like a speaker. 
but it obviously goes like interim audio jack of some sort. Yeah. Anyway, I've got two big old. You don't get cables like this anymore. Big old serial cables <laughs> for printers and whatnot. And there's two of them there. I'm gonna put them down there because uh, what I want to do. is plug the right end into there, that will help, plug that into there balls I'm just going to shut the camera off for a minute because I've forgotten the um, remote scrub that, it's actually already tuned in so but it's making weird ass noises I don't think it's actually playing. <laughs> yeah. Was jacked. Will it eject? shuts itself off so no I think that video recorder is a take apart one <laughs> that sounded rather poorly oh well I've got one anyway yeah we'll take that apart might be able to get it to work but uh, it doesn't matter if we can't right old data switch right oh, I've got the other monitor all connected in in fact let me show you what it looks like there it is Put the fan in front of it, but there it is. Awesome. Oh, I didn't measure screen size. Let's have a look, see. I'm going to stick you on the CDs. What is the screen size? It is a. Uh, 19 inch. That one's a little bit bigger, I think, if I remember rightly. That's a 22 inch. So, that's what the, that looks less cluttered on there as well. That one just looks so. Well, look at it. Look how deep it is for an LCD. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice monitor, but it's just so bloody big. Right. Get some space on the worktop, and I can set that up better and have a proper play with that. Um. Something really stinks around here. Right, so that VCR is scrap. Right. do want to do, which I can also do with the TV here, move that speaker out of the way, fucking keyboard, Yeah. 
it is a copy machine as well. Spot a piece of paper out at least. Right, I've got paper there. What have I got that I can just sit on there and copy? Just to see if it does work. This will be interesting, won't it? We should get a paper come out of there for copying. Oh, there's an error. Paper jam at cassette. Let's try that. That's just jammed again. I spat that one out fine. Well, no. Let's put that one back in and see what happens, shall we? <laughs> it actually works. Why's my screen gone all funny? Absolutely freaking awesome. That's a noisy bloody thing. a date time, user job account, common setting, copy setting, printer setting. Ooh. This is an Epson, which means this is actually installed on that computer, uh, which means I can actually use this and test the print function on it. There's an Epson. Well, it says emulation, actually. Completed. Oh, that's the exit button. Right. There. Well, it does work. So it's not bad, is it? I got that thing for free. Copy a scanner, printer. Probably makes a cup of coffee somehow. <laughs> so I haven't figured out what that is. Okay, we work. I'm going to turn it off.
There's a switch on the back. A clunky switch somewhere. Well, I can find, I can find the power lead. There we go. Well, that is just bloody awesome. So, so far, the only thing that doesn't work is this. But like I said, I'll take that apart in another video. And have a look inside a Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi? Mitsubishi. I've got a Mitsubishi. I believe that's what the one is I've got in the bedroom. Maybe I can salvage some spares from it. Right. Have a bit of light on the subject. Stick the phone on the base, like so. Actually, I'm going to untangle these poxy cables first. <laughs> Bung your there for a minute. Right. I had a good day today. I for once. Well, most days are a good day, but I've had a very good day today. I'm happy. I've got something else to show you while I'm in here as well. <laughs> I couldn't resist as soon as I saw them. I'll give you when I've done fighting with these cables. Tell you what, I'll just sort these cables out and I'll be back. <laughs> 